Good evening. We're in Kerrville, Texas. We made it here from Austin today. Um, I'm not going to talk about our ride this evening. Um, while we were eating dinner, Joanne sent me an email from our friend Heather Needham um, saying that our friend little Malachi Kai Smith passed away at 8 18 this morning at CHLA. We dedicated our ride to Kai on October 16th and um, I knew when we started pedaling away from St. Augustine that we might end up um, dedicating rides to children who, in fact, um, don't make it while we're actually riding. And uh, I guess today is the first and hopefully only day that I'll have to tell you this. Um, it's very close to home for me. I'm feeling very sad right now. Joanne flew to New Orleans this morning, and Grady's back in Los Angeles. And, um, I went to Kai's website and uh, looked through his whole story again and looked through all of his pictures. And I want to show you his picture. This is him right here. There he is. And uh, looks a lot like my son, happy, smiling, uh, but I didn't need this computer to communicate with everybody from the road. I, I think I would have thrown it out the window in pieces. I'm just angry, and I'm heartbroken, and I'm just sick of this disease. <sighs> My hearts go out to Kai and his parents and his entire family. And to all the extended family at CHLA, the nurses, Dr. Mascarenas, to the whole oncology team at CHLA, to all the medical techs. This is never easy on the people who take care of our children. It's no easier on them than it is on us. Um, I will put the URL for Kai's Caring Bridge website into the uh, description of this post so that if you care to uh, look through his story and look through his photos and and uh, let his family know that you're supporting, um, you can do that. I am. Um, this is why we're out here. This is why we're out here riding and asking people to contribute financially to our foundation and to spread the word about our foundation. You know, there was a time in this world when people were dying from polio. Both Joanne's father and her aunt are polio survivors. It sounds like it happened 200 years ago when we see these things on the History Channel. And uh, Joanne's father and her aunt are not 200 years old, if you know what I mean. People figured things out. Scientists and doctors figured things out, and they made great gains so that diseases like polio are no longer wiping out thousands of people every day. I want to make a difference in this world. 
for little boys like Kai, for little boys like Papa. That's what I want to do. That's why I'm here. That's why Rick is here. That's why we're all here. So, if you care to, please click through on the link in the description below. If you care to leave a comment for the family and offer them words of support and unity, that would be great. I sure can use it right now. Good night, and uh, check in tomorrow.